when it comes to the African safari, the Serengeti is one of the best places to witness Africa's wildlife. It's home to the Great Migration, which is when the wildebeest make a circular loop around the Serengeti into Kenya's Masai Mara every year. Now the chronic feature of Tanzania in Africa in general is Mount Kilimanjaro. It's the tallest place in Africa and also the highest freestanding mountain in the world with an elevation of 5,895 meters. What's great about Mount Kilimanjaro is that it can be summited without climbing gear. The journey takes anywhere from 5 to 10 days to complete I mean, I'd love to do it someday. Now, one of the best places to view Mount Kilimanjaro is from the Amboseli National Park. It's located right across the border in Kenya, and I think it has one of the best views in the world, not only because it has a great view of Mount Kilimanjaro, but it's often coupled with animals such as elephants roaming free throughout the park. I mean, it's a scene straight out of Lion King. Now, afterwards, we're going to venture to Ethiopia to visit the Simeon Mountains. They are home to the highest point in Ethiopia. Now, one of my favorite features of the Simeon Mountains is its wildlife. They are home to the Kalata baboon, also known as the bleeding heart monkey, which can only be found in the Ethiopia highlands. I mean, it's just such an interesting part of Africa.